Hello everybody, Ken here. Welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. Right, now we're here in Soren's Cave Temple thing. We're going to explore, but um, our two other members of the Order have kind of stormed off. Looks like they're not getting on very well. It's kind of down to us now to see what we're doing. Let's go chat to Lucas and see what he has to say. This place is a dream come true for Lucas. Look at him, he's loving it. He's loving it like that. What a guy. It is very pretty, I'll grant them that. Soren the Builder, Magnus the Rogue, Eligard the Engineer, Gabriel the Warrior. What about Ivor? We still haven't really figured out what Ivor's role was. I'm glad he came along, even if it did take a bit of persuading. <laughs> Hey, he's alright, Axel. His heart's in the they right place. A statue of me. I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. I thought he was gonna thrust then. Flex, just flex. Flex in pose. Err. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I like that. Little flex. Petra, how you doing? Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? Something's clearly up. I don't want to... I don't want to push her too much. Take it easy, Petra. You've been through some rough stuff. Looks like Olivia's working up more plans, as usual. Let's find out what her plans are. Hey, Jesse? Hey, no. Olivia. It's Petra. She... I don't know. Doesn't seem right. Nah, she seems kind of off. But she... I mean, she's clearly been she through a lot, but you? she seemed happy when uh, when we first got there. Doesn't look like she has anything much to say. But if we can use our inventory, nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, well, uh, I guess. Magnus, our rogue, went down that way. Eligard went down this way. Eligard's been kind of our number one choice mm. so far. Well, uh, we'll take a look down the other one as well. See if we can see anything obvious from them. But uh, I think we'll probably follow Eligard unless something obvious springs up mm. here. No, they look about the same. Any other options? What's going on over here? Is there anything past our friend Axel? No, it doesn't look like we can wander over there. Okay, well, um, I suppose we could check just quickly back here by the screen. Make sure we're not missing anything out. I hate to miss that. But, uh, yeah, let's follow Eligard and see where she's gone. Petra, are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. Sorry, Petra. I just got something I want to discuss with you in private. It's okay. But let's split up. Whatever you need, Petra. Hey, Reuben. Come on. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's okay. It's little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. It's alright, Petra. Take it easy. You've had a lot on your plate. You we all have. You away from the wither storm. But I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? <gasps> Petra. It showed up not too long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? And that's maybe not the tone I would have gone with. The wither is? The wither? Of course. We've been. No, Jesse. Just wither. Or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Uh oh! Ah! Creeper! Ow! 
Grab my hand, pull you up. <clears throat> Maybe not her injured hand. Whoa! <gasps> Uh-oh. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. It's alright, Petra, don't worry. Jesse? Don't worry, I'm fine. It's okay. Okay. I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. I hope she doesn't hurt herself. <laughs> it's okay, Reuben. Go tell the others. What's that shadowy pig in the background? Ooh. This up here. Some kind of banner. I guess we should probably go grab this before anything too bad happens. Ooh. I wonder what else is in this cave. Can we, um... Oh, we can... Look at this. We can activate our amulet. Not sure what it does. Maybe we can just look at our stuff to see what's in our inventory. What's this over here? Spooky. I love the glow it gives off, though. Very nice. Let's, uh... Wander down this mysterious corridor and see what lies in store. A little bit scary. But uh, we'll be okay. I mean, maybe we should have stayed put. But, uh... Where's the fun in that? Clearly this corridor is... Got something exciting at the end of it for us to check out. And uh, Petra should be able to find the others. She's got Reuben with her. They'll be okay between them. Look at this place. A world of mystery and wonder. Actually, we should be careful because the Endermen were down low, weren't they? Ah. Oh. This glowstone temple. Look at it. Wow. Huge glowstone chandelier. Like a giant library. Or an enchantment room. Soren was some kind of wizard, right? Or enchanter or something along those lines. And look, the logo on the floor. Seems like an important place to be. If only we had like mobile phones or something, we could call the others. I'm trying to think if they, there's a there's not really a, a good mobile equivalent in the Minecraft world. That that looks like the place we should probably be going. Over to the, the left. In fact, it's weird that it won't let us wander over there, but I, I guess up to this bookshelf is where we want to head. So let's do it. <gasps> what could be inside? Wow. Uh oh. Hello, my friend. Something useful in here. That's clearly he Ivor. Why would he have so many books? Is he just collecting them? I'm not going to say anything. I've read all these. Take the quiet approach, because I'm pretty sure that's Ivor. There he is. Mm. You. Hello. You interfere with my plans again. I see. No, not your intentionally, but... Is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again. Ivor, just calm down, okay? I think we're here for the same reason. We're trying to stop the wither, I know... with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your wither storm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. Uh-oh. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Well, in that I'll case... My way. Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh! Uh, Petra? Hey, Petra. You escaped? Give him the beans! <laughs> Petra, uh, careful. Foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. Ha! Uh, Petra, let him go. It's not worth it. Sorry, Jesse. I didn't escape one monster just to let another get away. It's two on one. Take him in the back. I'm the only one Eat it! Stop the wither storm. Not you. Oh, he's got a gold not sword. That is not going to last. Don't make yourself. Oh, she took one of his gold storm. swords, didn't she? <laughs> Da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la. I don't actually know what lasts longer. A stone, a gold sword, really doesn't last very long. But I don't think a, I don't think um, 
Oh, yeah, cobblestone ones last that long either. Any this could have all been avoided. Oh, he's getting red. Stop me. You'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out. Oh, he's taking potions. <laughs> I'm like the wind. <laughs> Quick, duck it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, Petra. Whoa. Why are you gonna be so mean? Oh, he's going. I'll go through you if I have to. Get him. Don't tempt your feet. Fight him, Jesse. Fight him. We can't let him get away with this. It didn't have to go this way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you. Oh, now he's invisible. <laughs> it's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. I mean, that's not technically what I said, but it's important. You're still not going anywhere. I mean, he's already left, right? Oh, he's throwing stuff at us. Oh, that was quick. Nice jump. Of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away. One's on you, you puffed up fool. Uh-oh. Got it. Straight back at you, sunshine. <laughs> There's no time for this. I mean, if you wanted to... If you had no time, why didn't you just leave when you were invisible? Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. I mean, we, we still have to stop the weather storm. False. You have stopped nothing. If Ivor's here, the weather storm's probably around. Of a splash potion of slowness. <laughs> He's just gonna leave. Why didn't you just leave when you were invisible? Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me. That they can destroy the wither storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. <gasps> oh no! Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Ivor, I guess. In a dark chamber deep in Soren's mouth. Oh no, he's locked As us the in the chamber. Stone rides off towards near certain doom. Our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped? as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Ba-dum. Dum. will tell. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Well, I guess we'll find out next time. So, it looks like we were in the majority, shooting the gas with a bow. We stole a repeater rather than crafting one. We stayed to help build the command block. Almost no one insisted on leaving. We all went at night because we all were in a rush. And, and they're the main decisions. So there we go. So it looks like, I feel like, I think crafting the repeater must have been going the other way to where the, uh, where the cannon was and the lady who was bouncing people up and down. So there's probably a way to craft it, but it seems like most people stole it, but I think that might just be because that's the path they kind of set you on off the go. They, they point you right towards the, the dancing lava guy with his easy to steal repeater. But then we did kill those cows doing that, so maybe it would have been better to craft one in the grand scheme of things. Uh, yeah, and then the others, we stayed to help build the command block. I mean, that seemed like the right decision because she was convinced it was a good solution. And she didn't seem to have any good reason to trust us anyway, so... I think it was probably the best decision, but I'd be interested to see the other path. And uh, most of us decided to leave at night because we were in a rush to get there before Ivor arrived. Uh, even then, 
maybe we weren't quick enough because as, as we found out Ivan made it there we didn't see the wither storm but if Ivor's around that wither storm probably isn't too too far away it's not specifically following him round because he can't really control it anymore but uh, I can't imagine it is too far from where he is uh, interestingly I'm, I'd be interested to look at more of these because last time I think almost everyone went up, went after Reuben but it turns out if you tell the, if you decide to stay you still go after Reuben and you just tell your friends to to stay and look after things and if they do that then you win the competition now it doesn't actually make a great deal of difference but it's interesting because the way they phrase it sounds like all of you are going to go look for Reuben or all of you are going to stay but in fact it's not quite how it works out it's you telling your friends to stay so uh, they maybe could have worded that one better but I had fun with episode 2 and I imagine that's going to bring us to the end of things and uh, there we go here are, the, here are the credits for assembly required and uh, yeah that was a good time so we uh, you know, we, we went through and we made it to Soren's temple. Well, we found Eligard, first of all, and we convinced her to join us, although only just in time to save her from the Wither Storm. Managed to get all the way back, and Axel had gone and found Magnus, the rogue, and together as a group, we went after Soren. But uh, it was uh, there was a lot of squabbling between the, the two other members of the Order. Clearly, they didn't get on the brains of... Um, the brains of Eligard versus the kind of uh, explosive, heavy, uh, high charisma rogue that is Magnus. And uh, yeah, kind of differing personalities there. They don't really get along. So they've kind of fought each other. They've disappeared. We don't know where they're at, but they're obviously somewhere in Soren's temple. We managed to find uh, Ivor down in that secret enchantment room. Uh, and, but he's locked us inside. You know, we fought him off. We almost took him down, but now we're locked inside there. And Petra has got uh, some kind of wither sickness, which is probably real bad. So hopefully we can find a way to help her out. But um, she's going to be a bit weak, so we need to look after her. Make sure that nothing bad happens to her. Because she's quite vulnerable at the moment, I'd imagine. And, and that's going to do things. And, and now we need to find out where... We're going to go from here, how we're going to get out of that room, and how we're going to go after Ivor. Hopefully, um, Eligard and Magnus will put aside their differences, and they'll come and give us a hand uh, uh, before Ivor manages to get to them, because he is only one man. I'm really interested to find out how Ivor kind of links into all this, because they tell us, you know, you have the, the warrior, Gabriel. You have the redstone engineer, Eligard. You have the rogue, uh, the, the TNT rogue of Magnus, and then... Uh, I guess the enchanter, Soren. And then there's Ivor, the, this mysterious fifth person who's kind of in the in the amulet, he's shown as the centerpiece. And yet he's the one who seemed to be the cause of the fract between them, you know, the one that was thrown out of the order before they fought the end. So I wonder what his role in the whole thing was. And I'm sure we'll find out as it goes on. Plenty of questions a few answers this episode but even more questions raised so we'll see where it goes I'm gonna let the credits play out but uh, thanks very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this if you have be sure to bop that like button subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft story mode when it arrives and other games as well in the meantime so thank you for watching I've been Ken I hope you have a fantastic day hope you're enjoying Minecraft story mode and I'll catch you next time cheers
And there we go, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.